Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be planning for November. Before I start planning, I just wanted to show you one of the pages that I forgot to talk about in my first plan with me is this uh, page. So what I showed you before was my books read in 2019 spread, this one. And how I had it laid out here was in columns and on this spread, once this one was full, I decided to just make a regular list and just color code the different sections. So black is the name and the author, pink is the genre, and then blue is the age group and the format of the book. All the other stats that I usually um, track um, are on Goodreads. So. When the end of the year comes and I want to do my end of year stats, I just get most of my stats from Goodreads and everything else I collect here. So this is what October looks like. Um, October is over and this is how it all ended up. <laughs> so I can go in here and say that, well, I guess I, I kind of did that. I inked one page. <laughs> um, edit pages. No. Preptober, yes. I totally did that. Post every day on Instagram? Hmm. Um, right here you can see I added a little Instagram daily tracker. Now, I'm just really not good at trackers. I never have been. I've always tried them, but it never works out for me because I'm just terrible at marking stuff off every single day. Um, because I can look at this list and say, oh yeah, I did that, or I didn't do that. But this, I honestly can't tell you. Did I really skip those days, or did I not? But yeah, I want to get a little bit better at it. So next, um, well, this month in November, I want to keep this, but make it a little bit different. And you'll see what I'm going to do there. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to have to give myself a... Uh, I'm just gonna have to say no I didn't do that and then post two to four YouTube videos I did that so this one um, was in September then in October I had one two three four so I did my maximum well done me I posted those videos <laughs> for my TBR I did not finish the two books that I was reading at the time that I did my plan with me but I did read one, two, three, four, five books, um, just not the ones that I had on my list. So these two are going to be migrating to the next month. And then I'll put on there what I'm currently reading. I think actually, I should actually put on the first volume of a graphic novel that I read. And then the next month, which is November, which was yesterday, so it started yesterday, I actually read the second volume. So let's move on to Preptober and how my month went for Preptober. I actually did pretty well um, for my, I probably shouldn't go through this in too much detail, but here's my master checklist. And I did pretty well except for the world building. Um, I kind of started world building, but not really. I did not learn more about building a world, and I did not, well, I kind of, I started. Let me give myself a half mark for that. So, eh, sort of, kind of. So really, I did very well. This is a resource that I wrote down. I decided to write down all the links and resources, but actually, I only wrote down one, the one from Read C that um, you would have seen in my previous video on character design. After I had started all of this, and after I used that character profile from Readsy, I found a YouTuber called, I forget her name, but I will put her channel link down in the description. But she has this really great Preptober series, and I went through her videos a little bit too late, and I got her, um, resources that she put and this stuff is so good there is a character profile sheet um, for your main characters as well as your side characters 
I think I only printed the side character one. Then there is a three act structure template, which is just wonderful. She goes into so much detail. And then there is also this, which is a scene card. I have kind of seen these around, but I've never used one and I want to for this story. So I discovered these resources a little bit too late to apply them to my Preptober. I did do some Preptober work of my own. So um, for characters, I have my main characters. So if you don't know, my story is a romance novel between two guys and the first one is a human and the second one is a dragon shifter. So this is the human profile, his name, his age, his date of his place of birth, education, etc. His appearance is here in this orange box. And I left a couple of things blank because I thought it would be good for him to have a passion or a driving force. Um, but I never did figure out what that is. Um, and then his backstory is here. I wrote a little bit about his backstory. And this is all stuff, it's not spoilers, because it's all stuff that happened before the story starts. And this is my little character sketch that I did in another video. And the love interest, well really, he's the second POV character. The dragon shifter named Travos. This is his information right here. And it was actually kind of funny because the character profile sheet that I was following had things like education, occupation, income. And uh, I'm like, um, he's a dragon? He lives in a cave? <laughs> His income, I wrote self-sufficient. So there you go. And um, yeah, I also wrote down the passion driving force and I didn't actually put that in. I'm thinking he needs to have a tragic backstory, a tragic like thing in his past that made him live in the cave. Um, I have a couple of ideas of what that might be, but it's not solidified yet. So his backstory is pretty minimal um, for now. And there he is. That's his um, little sketch that I did. Here's what I did for world building. Um, I drew this little map. It's quite minimal. And uh, yeah, so basically there's the portal cave where the story starts and it's a journey so we're gonna go through the world and end up at the king's castle and all i have here are bad creatures and um yeah and this is basically their journey that they go through yeah it's not much but that's what i have for the world building then the next page is just a spread that i did with um some practice for hand um, lettering or brush lettering effects so I used these Crayola super tips and I just wanted to practice doing the brush lettering effect with them and this is a great way to fill out your bullet journal if you want to improve your handwriting or if you want to um, do brush lettering or hand lettering and you have a bullet journal and you're like what am I supposed to put in here this is a great way to fill out some some pages so I'm trying to do that because I have quite a bit of this journal left and I don't want to use it again for another year so I'm trying to fill it up as much as possible okay so then the next page is just a couple of sketches random sketches I did this was ballpoint pen and alcohol marker this was just um, Crayola erasable pencil and then we're back to Preptober. So, the plot. <laughs> um, I got these really cute post-its of cats, so I decided to use them for my scenes. I ended up deciding that this particular story is going to be shorter, so I don't think it's going to be a full-length novel. I think it'll probably be about 20,000 words or so. So I decided to just write down all the scenes that I wanted, it was, this is super basic. I just wrote them all down, pasted them down, and, the, and then I reordered them to see like which order they would fall into. And that's what these are. And then I added a little brain dump area. This is probably gonna get filled up later, but I just added that I wanted this to be a short story or novella, 10K to 25K words. I decided to brainstorm some 
ideas for titles and then write a couple of notes on the series because I wanted this to be a series of novels but then I but if it's going to be a short story slash novella maybe that's even better um to be honest this isn't really new information this was on my little um, mind map that I had before I just sort of transcribed this and added a couple of things here and there that's what I have for Preptober it's not a lot I like to plan for stories I'm still trying to figure out what kind of a writer I am. I think I'm probably a plotzer or a like a mix between a planner and a pantser because I like to plan, but I feel like when I'm planning, I I go too far and I end up writing the story anyway. So I feel like I'm wasting time planning when I could just be writing the story. Last NaNoWriMo, Camp NaNoWriMo, I actually pantsed an entire story and it went really well. It was super fun, but that was fan fiction. So I don't know. So I don't think I can pants my own original story because there's not a lot of, there's nothing to go on. So that's why I wanted to do the characters and everything like that first and have a vague idea of the world and what scenes I needed and then jump in to the story. So that is that. All right, so now we can start planning for November. Tombow brush pen, my little Uniball pen. Grab my Staedtler fine liners. This month I'm gonna use this Lyra Aqua Brush Duo pen for the accent color, and this is just a nice orange color. I could use my super tip, but I like the brush tip. So, yeah. The first thing I'm going to lay out is just the monthly page, which is going to look super similar to the previous month. So then one of the things I wanted to do is recreate this Instagram tracker. I'm going to try to be better at tracking. Um, maybe if I had, maybe if I used some sort of app or something to see. Maybe that would be good. I don't know. And that's there. And this is here. Okay. So this time, what I think I'm going to do, or what I am doing, is um, splitting it up because I wanted to. I wanted to make. Mm, I want to make it my goal to post on Instagram once a day, but instead of making it a post every day it can be a post or it can be a story so that way i am active on instagram every day but i'm not i don't have to think ahead as much for um posts I love being on Instagram. It's one of my favorite social media after YouTube. Um, I really love the community there, but it just takes a lot of time and effort to be active there all the time. So P for post, S for story, and uh, let's hope that that works. <laughs> so goals. Let's transfer some goals. Ink witchy coloring book. <laughs> Still a goal. Edit pages. 
Cryptober is done, but now it's NaNoWriMo. Who's excited? Post. Let's just make the goal be active on Instagram. And then if I get to, if I do post every day, you know, that's great. But if I, like here, I couldn't really give myself a check for that. Whereas this way I can, because the goal is just to be active. And if I fill out even some of these, then I'd be active. So here we go. All right, so TBR. Um, let's just say yesterday I finished Fence, volume two, which is a graphic novel by it's written by C.S. Pacat and illustrated by Joanna the Mad, which is like the most amazing combination. The, as soon as I heard of that, I knew I had to read it, but it took me a while. So I've read volume one and two, and I am waiting on volume three from the library. And yeah, I really like it. All right, so, so I ended up reading all of Captive Prince the entire Captive Prince trilogy in October, which was super fun. Um, so the Well of Ascension. I don't know. I'm going to put it on here. I have it on audiobook. I don't know if I'm going to read it. I don't know. I feel like it's not as good as the first book. This is book two in a series, and I... I just feel like it's boring. I don't want to read it. <laughs> but I also want to finish the series because everyone says the, the, the ending is so super cool. So I'm torn with that one. I kind of want to stop reading, but I really want it to have read it. Oh yes, and I also forgot that my other goal is to post YouTube videos. Again, two to four, I think. Because we have one, two, three, four weekends. So in four weekends, I think I can manage to post four videos. And then um, another one that I wanted to write here is my projects. All right, so that's the monthly stuff done. Let's move on to NaNoWriMo. Yeah, whoopsies. It's just an extra curl. <laughs> I decided to be super duper realistic with NaNoWriMo this time around because I always try too hard when I'm given a goal and I feel like so much pressure to complete the goal and writing 50,000 words is just not realistic for me. In Camp NaNoWriMo, my goal was 25,000 words and I just barely made it. And I just, I, I know that it's not gonna happen. So as much as I would love to write 50,000 words in one month, I just know it's not gonna happen. I decided to write on days that I can write, which is, for me, Saturdays and Sundays. So what I'm planning to do is write the daily goal every day that I can, which is every Saturday and Sunday. And then I will have several thousand words contributed to the story by the end of the month. It's 1,667 words times two, which is two days, equals 3,334 times, so that's one weekend, and then we have four weekends, four equals 13,336, so about 13,000 words contributed towards the story. Is it gonna be finished at this point? I don't think so. The point is not to finish the story. The point is to get started on it and to make progress in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. All 
Actually, I should probably make a space. Maybe, okay, this is the goal. My actual is gonna be like right here. Let's just make it a little line. I'm gonna start act. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't plan ahead. I didn't pre plan. It's my own fault for not pre planning. So now everything is uneven. And then the rest of this spread, I want to do, maybe I'll do like a, a graph. Yeah, there's eight days. Okay, so I messed up a little bit. I drew this too high, so I raised it and moved it down. And then I filled in the days and then the thousand words. So I made it up to 14K. And I think I'm gonna use this color every day to fill out this graph as it progresses. The next thing I wanna plan is for November, is I wanna plan my other projects. I was looking at my project list and I still have so many projects that are um, that are on the go from earlier in the year from years and years ago and I would really like to finish all of them by the end of the year so I'm going to just quickly make a page for each of those um, there's four projects that I really want to get done by the end of the year and then yeah, I hope that that will help me, motivate me. Whenever I have stress about, I feel like I have so many things to do and I have so many things that I need to get done, it really helps me to just write these things down, make a list, and it's a lot less intimidating when, when it's all on a list. Nice and neat and tidy in my bullet journal rather than just a big muddle in my head. So Forbidden Awakening is a novel that I wrote at NaNoWriMo in 2009. Yeah, no, I'm lying. It was 2010, I wrote it in 2010. I wrote the first draft, I really liked it. I finished, I won NaNoWriMo. It was my first year attempting it and I actually <laughs> won it, which is amazing. And that I think is the only time I've ever won NaNoWriMo, like proper NaNoWriMo. I've won Camp NaNoWriMo this year, so there's that, but <laughs> yeah. I then went back to it a couple of years later. Um, this was a few years ago now, like, and I edited it, started editing, added a bunch of, rewrote a bunch of stuff, added some stuff and got stuck. I still have the ending to finish here. So on this list is gonna be li things like, um, I think I'll just write here, finish editing. That is the like overarching goal for Forbidden Awakening. So you can see here a pattern forming. I am bad at editing. Um, Release Me is the fan fiction that I wrote for Camp NaNoWriMo this year. I started editing, oh this is going to sound familiar, I started editing it, I got about halfway through and I just need to finish. Um, and so I would really like to finish editing that and then um, upload it on Wattpad. I really want to finish that and have people read it. and. It is a fan fiction of Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, 
which is such a random thing to write a fanfiction about. But I had just read it at that point, so I was in the mood <laughs> to write some fanfiction. It was Camp NaNoWriMo and it just sort of happened. And like I said, I pantsed the whole thing. It actually turned out pretty cohesive, actually. It has a very interesting theme. This is a novel. This is a, I guess, novella. It's fan fiction, so it's about novella length. It's about 30,000 words. And then this is my coloring book. This is my witchy coloring book that I've inked a page of before on this channel. And I really need to finish. I've got all the sketches. I just need to finish inking. Then I need to edit and then put together the finished book. Then my short story. I started a book in on NaNoWriMo 2018. So last year I started writing a book and I hadn't written anything for a really long time and I really struggled. I started writing it. Then halfway through NaNoWriMo I scrapped it and then I started writing it again. And then I started writing it as a novella. Then it turned out that no, it's not going to be a novella. It's going to be a full novel. And then I kept writing it after NaNoWriMo to try and finish it, but I never did because I realized the story just, uh, it, it was a mystery story and I can't write mystery. <laughs> anyway, not to go on and on and on about it, but basically this is a long history of a, sh of a story. And so let me just write here what it is. Detective. So basically then, much later, I attempted to write the story again, but without the mystery element, without the conspiracy theory element, just as a contemporary romance story. And I think it really works better as a short story, as a cute contemporary, rather than a kind of dark mystery which I wanted, I wanted it to be funny, but also I wanted it to have a mystery, and then it got really somber, and I don't know what I was doing. But as a cute contemporary, I think it works. I started it, I have about 3,000 words in this short story, and I really want to finish the first draft. So that's my four projects that I really want to finish by the end of the year, while also working on NaNoWriMo. So, that is it. That is my plan with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!